the movement culture is without a doubt on the way up and growing. More people are learning the hashtag on Instagram is growing and more dedicated gyms are opening. But as we evolve, how will we change? So a large part of the movement culture is based off Ido Patel's kind of philosophy of generalizing. So what happens when we start to specialize? You see, there are companies forming out of the popularization of Floreo and Locomotion. It's great. It helps you gain mobility, coordination, and strength. But that's it. Whereas in the Ido Patel method, you would focus a large chunk of time on locomotion. You would also spend time on things like the rings, tricking, um, you know, developing skills in generalizing. Phase six is the biggest example of this. Um, it's very much just centered around fitness itself. The movement training has very little spontaneity and the rest of the workout very much mimics CrossFit. So regarding the future of the movement culture, I think this is it, a more specialized kind of approach to it. There's a market for it. I do think it's truly great to get people moving, but is it what we're really looking for? You see, people love the idea of something different. And when there is a sporting community of people doing animal movements and crawling on the floor, it would attract a certain type of person. Now, Ido Patel's blog was kind of started in 2006, whereas phase six was only founded in 2018, yet it has a huge following um, in the short time it's been around. This is purely based off a very similar type of marketing CrossFit has done in, in the sense of a kind of fitness community where, you know, it's multi kind of factorial um, and you kind of get to crawl around a bit and have a bit of fun. Something we cannot forget is that phase six and that community is part of the movement culture. I think it can be incredibly great for some people who don't know how to start the Edo Patel method. I don't have a thousand pounds to pay for the online coaching, but they do have a gym close to them that does phase six and allows them to get exposed to a more generalized movement practice. So all in all, making this a fairly short video, the future of the movement culture is a more secular and more specialized one. This is because more businesses and more companies will come in and take different aspects of Edo's kind of method and the generalized idea, you know, concept as a whole. And they will focus on one area of that. And all these different companies will come, they'll bring more people in and these people will still be part of the movement culture because they are still moving. They are still fairly generalized. While they may not be, you know, improvising movement and following the same framework, they still use the hashtag on Instagram. They still are moving. And aside from businesses which isolate the practice itself, you've got channels like the Bioneer. You've got other channels such as Vava Fitness, um, hopefully my channel, Monkey Style Movement, all these different kind of channels, including the strength side, that will promote different aspects of animal movements. If you're new to movement training and animal flow, then you probably have one enduring impression of the training modality. People crawling around the ground. Crawling exercises certainly pose a striking image. Seeing someone crawl like a lizard through the bushes is definitely a little unusual. So it's going to be an interesting future. Of course, the Patel method will continue to grow as well. Um, at what rate, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. Uh, obviously, my goal with these videos is to become a bit of a source, a bit of a hub for information, um, and just a discussion on the culture of movement culture, because it seems a bit lacking right now. So if you do like this, please do give it a share to some pages or people you may find, you know, who might find it interesting. Please leave it a like if you liked this video. I, uh, I do hope you did spend a bit of time planning it. Um, but other than that, all the best guys. See you next time.